this is Trip, and welcome to my channel. Well, it's coming up this weekend to Father's Day. So, I was reflecting on my own dad. And he likes boiled peanuts, just like a lot of people in the South. I do too. I think some people are allergic to allergies, so... Don't try this at home without the help of... Without the, uh okay of your doctor you know or your allergist because some people are deadly allergic to some kinds of peanuts and things we raised peanuts on our farm we had about eight or nine acres of them for as long as I can remember and you could stop and, and buy these boiled peanuts by the side of the road in little country stores and we fix them at home to go out to the field and just uh, dig them up, clean them up, put them in some hot water to boil for a few hours with some salt. They're the greatest things in the world, but they're very labor intensive. You have to open them up and, you know, we get to that. So. For Father's Day, I was remembering Dad with some boiled peanuts and an RC Cola. I did another video, maybe like a, a few weeks ago, and I stated I could not find RC Cola, which we used to have with moon pies. Well, I found it in a, I found the RC Colas in a six pack of cans, but when I was young, we drank them out of a bottle from the old country store, especially in the field with a moon pie either an RC Cola or a Moon Pie. But I did happen to find these today at just a little convenience store, and there were only three, and they're... I thought this was plastic. It's got to be plastic. Boy, that's some kind of container. But anyway, so we used to have to pop them open with that little uh, can opener, like, You have the nice little fizz and all that. But this, you just open it like that. See? It's not nearly as, as exciting. So. But still, the more secure. These are the boiled peanuts, and I bought I bought them from a little a little kind of a vegetable stand by the side of the road. Actually, the bag was twice as big, but uh, being kind of a, a smaller eater, no pun intended. He sold me half the bag. He agreed to sell half the bag for three dollars, half price. So that's fine. Anyway, Father's Day, it took a while for it to get, for it even to be recognized as a holiday. It was Mother's Day, as I did a video about Mother's Day uh, a few weeks ago, back in May, and it was, became a holiday early in the, the last century, the 1900s. Father's Day. It took a lot longer. Why? I don't know. One reason, when they tried to make it a holiday back in the, the, the teens or the 20s or 30s of the last century, Congress was afraid of Father's Day being commercialized, just like Mother's Day was and everything else. Why? Do you mean somebody would try to make money off of Father's Day? What's wrong with good old American commercialization? <laughs> yeah. It didn't become a, a, 
permanent national holiday till 1972 under President Nixon. You need two bowls when you eat peanuts. You need a bowl with the, with the original peanuts unopened and then a bowl for the, for the used peanuts. Anyway, it was decided that... Wait a minute. It was decided that Father's Day would be the third Sunday in June. Just like Mother's Day, if I remember correctly, is the second Sunday in May. Dad used to enjoy fixing the peanuts in the house, or fixing the bowl of peanuts in the house, or just stopping by the country store, and he'd sit around with his friends and have a Coke or an, an RC, a, a knee high, yeah, anything like that. A top cola, any of the kind of drinks you'd find at the old country stores in the south back in the 60s, 70s, 80s. These are so good. And for most people, these nuts are nutritious. Yeah, some people do have allergy sen uh, sensitivity to it. So be careful. a girl in a store at the mall I won't tell you which store but she told me that she'd not spoken to her dad in three years three years she was like 23 or 4 years old I guess I can't remember exactly they had some falling out I don't know Kind of like I said with Mother's Day, you know, you should do something nice for your mother. Most of your moms are, you know, good people, do their best. And most fathers, most fathers are good people, and do the best for their children. Maybe there are more good moms than fathers. Because there are too many families where the father just, he gets the girl pregnant and then he disappears or he's not available or he doesn't help financially or otherwise. But to be fair, you know, men are just not naturally and culturally and historically child raisers, child bearers. It was the women who were such. making this video I thought about that 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 young lady that I met at the mall in this working in the store and what if something happened to her or to her father I think they would both regret that they didn't talk that they didn't see each other Here's my recommended way of eating a peanut. See right there. Let's see. These things are bad to squirt water everywhere. I don't want to get it on my microphone. See? The peanut opens like that if you can see it. There's three or four inside. What I like to do is just to bite down on the side like this. And then you 
break that little place in the center, then you can get to the peanut. one restaurant where you can actually they have these uh oh, what are those peanuts called when they're not they're not softball they're roasted peanuts and you just throw the hole the holes on the floor when you finish and of course that is the texas roadhouse but anyway you should reconcile yourself with your father if you have an, a disagreement with him if you possibly can. You can really step back and just like with your mother, try to find the part of it that might be your fault. Recognize that it might be older and might be stubborn. So you're gonna have to make the first move sometimes, even if they should by being the senior adult. Right? Fingers so messy. So on Father's Day, you know, visit your dad. If you live far away, then call him. An email is nothing. Neither is a text message. You need to pick up the phone. Hi. How are you? Are you still alive? live close enough, visit. Close enough doesn't mean just two or three miles away. You know, if you live a hundred miles away, two hundred, maybe you can visit. Or cook a meal for dad. This is more about women because women are better cooks and more traditionally cooks than men. I'm not being sexist. I know a lot of very serious, uh, qualified and educated professional women. In fact, I think there are more women in college now than men, unlike when I was going to college. But cook a meal for, the, for your, your dad. And if you don't know how to cook or, or anything like that, Maybe you can take him out to dinner. Go see a movie, go see a movie that he likes. He probably won't like a chick flick or anything like that. Go see something that he likes. Or just write a letter. Not a text message and not an email. Write a real letter. Remember what letters are? Those little red and blue and white trucks that you see, they deliver these little little letters we used to call them even if you can't write well it's better to write in longhand I can't write well at all so if I was going to send a letter I would send it I would I would be typing it out you know I wish that I could I wish that I could talk to my dad and I think I was pretty faithful to him from being what I consider a problem teenager. You're playing in a band and staying out and all that. And how my folks must have worried about me. I can't imagine the nights that they were just waiting for me to, to come home. Or even when I went to Europe and not knowing what in the world I was. Of course my dad when he was my age, when he was, I mean when he was 18, like I was 18, he was in the jungles of, of uh, the Philippines and Moritai Island in New Guinea. He was, uh, you know, fighting in the war in World War II. So when I was 18, I was getting out of high school and playing in a band. You know, I mean, what was that? Nothing compared to what he was doing. Nothing at all. dad was a real man. He was short like me. He was the shortest person in his, in his 
military in his entire squad. He was in a signal air warning battalion. They they had the operator, the radar, the primitive radar that was supposed to warn if they were approaching enemy planes. That was his job. So I didn't understand my, my dad when I was younger quite so much, although I worked on the farm. He expected me to work like anybody else. Thank God that I had a father who wasn't so soft on me. He he taught me the value of hard work. Getting up early in the morning and coming in late at night after dark. Mainly in the summertime, the spring and the summer when crops were planted and then and then we're harvesting them. But I hope you'll have a that you and your dad will have a good Father's Day. And for the rest of us that have whose fathers have passed away my father died in 2001 for the rest of us we just will have to be happy with our memories and try to hope that we that we did our our dad's honorable and that we turned out to be good children so whatever we do now has to be in their memory and their honor all right, I pontificated enough on this. I just wanted to say a few words about Father's Day. I didn't mean to get into a big lecture. And by the way, the Father's Day, it's just like Mother's Day. It's F-A-T-H-E-R apostrophe S. It's not meant to commemorate all the fathers in the world. Collectively, you're, commu you're commemorating and honoring your own one father. And of course, this might be a stepfather too. Some children don't even have a father, or at least don't, I mean, don't have a father who is around anymore, or don't know who their fathers are. So maybe there's another man, a man in your life that maybe was like a mentor, a helper to you when you were growing up. Maybe he wasn't your flesh and blood, and blood father. Maybe he was someone that, really, that, that cared enough about you to spend some time with you. And nobody's perfect. My father had a couple of problems. Maybe they came from the war. I don't know. But he was trying to run a big farm. And also worked for a chemical company. He had a nervous breakdown one day going to work. He was doing too much. He was only in his mid-40s. So... You're the biggest little man that I know. <laughs> I took that as a compliment. I'd never be half the man my father was. Okay, I'm cutting it off right here before I get really sentimental. Like I did toward the end of my Mother's Day video. So, honor your father. And every day should be your father's day. This is Trip, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Please watch my videos, like them, and share them with others. Bless you.